Another essential computer skill that you need to know to be a successful student in online classes is to understand some of the options that you have when you send email. In particular, when you create an email, and I'm going to do that right now by clicking on Compose in Gmail. Uh, when you create an email, over here you have a CC and a BCC option. What are those CC and BCC options? Well, CC stands for carbon copy, and BCC st stands for blind carbon copy. And you might be saying to yourself, why do they call it carbon copy? What the heck does carbon have to do with it? Because back in the day, when they created documents, if they wanted to create a duplicate document, before they put the piece of paper in the typewriter, they would take a sheet of carbon, and which is kind of like the lead in a pencil. They'd take a sheet of carbon, put it between the sheet that they were going to type on and the sheet behind it. So between these two sheets of paper, there'd be a sheet of, of carbon. And then they roll all of that into the typewriter and they type. So when the, the document was finished and it came out of the typewriter, there would be two copies of the thing they just typed. There would be the original that got typed on, and then because the carbon was between these two sheets of paper, all of whatever was typed would have showed up on this page too. So they called that the carbon copy. And they created a carbon copy so that if you wanted to send a copy of a document to somebody, uh, you could have a second copy of the document. Well, in email, we have CC, carbon copy, so that if we wanted to, uh, what does that mean in email? Let's say I'm sending the email to this person and uh, I want somebody else to see that I've emailed this. So let's say that like my boss, Rick, uh, let's just say my boss is Rio Waller. Let's say my boss, Rio Waller, asked me to email Thomas about Friday's meeting. Uh, Friday's meeting. Hi, Thomas. Rio asked me to email you about Friday's meeting just to remind you that we're meeting at 9 a.m. or whatever. So now what's going to happen is Thomas is going to receive this email. Thomas will see that this email was sent to him, right? And Rio has gotten a copy of the email. Rio will see that this email isn't wrote, written directly to me but that she has received a copy of it just so that she could be kept in on the loop, right? She asked me to email Thomas, and I am uh, emailing Thomas, and I'm CCing her so that she could see that I did it. Well, what is BCC? BCC might be uh, something that you'd use because perhaps you have a friend like uh, Rick Johnson, whatever, at email, gmail.com, whatever. Right, and now what this means is that Rick will also receive a copy of the email, right? But his will be a blind carbon copy. That means he will see that the email went to Thomas, that Rio got a CC, and that this is the email. He will see all of that, but neither Thomas nor Rio will see that Rick got a copy, right? So maybe I've been talking to Rick about how what a control freak my boss Rio is. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and I'm BCCing Rick just so he could kind of like be like, ah, oh, shoot, yeah, you're right, man. She's making you email Thomas about Friday's meeting. What a control freak, right? So neither Rio nor Thomas would know that Rick got a copy of this email, but Rick would be able to see everything. So that's how the blind carbon copy works. So it's just good to know about CC and BCC.